Capture the Flag, also known and abbreviated as CTF, is a competition between either professionals or students looking to enhance their skills in cybersecurity. These serve as a style of competition which probes learning experience, hands-on experience, training with different tools, and sharpening of skills. When first starting out with the whole idea behind Capture the Flag, it can seem like a daunting learning experience, maybe too complex for someone like yeah, you who is starting out or maybe an intermediate like me. You've maybe been told to participate in these events to uh, sharpen your skills or display your skills to specific employers or to have this as a portfolio builder. Whatever the reason may be, today in this four episode series, we will be addressing the whole idea behind Capture the Flag in cybersecurity for students. Hello everyone, my name is Grant Collins. I am an aspiring cybersecurity professional, uh, an undergraduate student completing uh, an undergraduate cybersecurity program, and I like to call myself a little bit, maybe just a little bit of an IT nerd. Today we'll be addressing Capture the Flag uh, through a series of four. Before we even get started with uh, episode one, I will be addressing the and outlining all four episodes. Starting with number one, which is this episode, uh, talking about what is capture the flag? Uh, that's the main question. Number two, the question being asked is what kind of skills are required for a, a competing in capture the flag? Episode three, the question is where do I learn these particular skills if I'm somebody who doesn't have a particular skill set in one of the, uh, the skills that I mentioned in episode two? And number four is where do you participate once you have these skills down and you continue to learn? Where do you participate uh, with CTF competitions, both online and offline? Make sure to hit subscribe and, and make sure to hit that notification bell for the, this four episode series if you're watching this uh, right now as of the time of uploading. If all four episodes have already been released, I ask you to also hit the subscribe button and the notification uh, bell just because more episodes and series like these will be coming in the future of course so you don't never want to miss uh, an, a series or an episode now that we have a summary let's go ahead and dive into episode one with the question being what is capture the flag capture the flag i'm gonna call it ctf for the rest of these series just because uh to abbreviate to get those acronyms held down okay let's keep going uh, no so capture the flag events have been around a lot longer than i have been born which really says something about capture the flag itself and really about my credibility as a person and as a professional or as a cybersecurity aspiring professional you have to remember that i'm aspiring cybersecurity professional in all seriousness capture the flag has been around since the early 90s meaning these kinds of events aren't particularly new uh, in fact the early 90s was when this thing started and they've only gained more popularity as time and technologies has continued to exponentially grow. CTF is an event. You know what? I take that back. I will be doing Capture the Flag. I will do, I'll change simultaneously. I'm sorry. I didn't make up my mind. Okay. Sorry. In all seriousness, CTF uh, is whether you want to call it an event or a game is usually hosted by either conferences or local conferences like B-Sides. Capture Flag events, I'm going to call them competitions, uh, vary in difficulty, you know, as, as it depends on the professional uh, and the, uh, the level of advancement where the student or the professional is at. There are two types of CTFs. One is called the Attack Defense CTF. The other is a Jeopardy style game CTF. As I researched this topic and I've gotten to know what the industry looks like, um, I would say that the attack defense CTFs are usually a little bit more popular than the Jeopardy style CTFs. But we're going to go ahead and break down both of them, starting with the attack defense CTF. So as the name suggests from attack defense CTF, uh, there's attackers and defenders in this type of game. The attackers are known as the red team, 
uh, and the defenders are known as the blue team. The flag that they talk about in most cases is either a hidden text file, an image file, or some sort of folder uh, hidden and embedded into a, a system. CTFs uh, that are hosted uh, in events, in event settings, conferences, security conferences, usually have the option to either be fully red team, fully blue team, or participate in both. That's kind of the nice thing about in-person conferences that they have. It's great to get experience with both the red team and the blue team when you are uh, participating in attack defense CTFs. When you do participate on either side, you are learning either about how the attacker thinks or how the defender thinks. And I think that adding both processes as one, like understanding what attackers and defenders think is really important. So it's something that I really emphasize. If you are going to do these attack defense CTS, do both sides eventually. More information on the red team and on the blue team, I recommend that you go over to Colin Kelly's channel. Uh, link in the description below. He has broken down what the red team and the blue team do, what tools they use, what skills they have. I highly recommend you subscribe to his channel. Uh, as he is a cybersecurity student as well. Links in the description below. Do you see how I did there? Boom! <laughs> then, oh gosh, that is a cringe fest. That is a cringe fest. In addition to the red team, blue team CTF, there's also what is called the red team CTF. And it's basically uh, where the host of the conference sets up uh, a CTF and everyone is the attacker, there's no defenders. These types of challenges uh, I've broken up as I've researched are broken up either into programming, cryptography, exploitation, or reverse engineering. And in fact, I would say reverse engineering applies to even all three of the above. Again, the skills, again, we will outline uh, those in episode two, the skills and the challenges presented. All right, so we've learned what an attack defense CTF or a blue team, red team CTF is, but what about the Jeopardy style game? The Jeopardy style CTFs are similarly, 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 are very similar to the real Jeopardy, uh, the TV show. Basically, we, you can have uh, an unlimited amount of people. You don't just have two teams. You can have more than, than two teams come together uh, and they just answer points uh, pertaining to particular answers and questions. Of course, it's just like the Jeopardy game. Uh, these topics range from exploitation, uh, steganography. I did not say that right. I'm going to move on. Cryptography, uh, programming questions, things of that nature, vulnerabilities. It's going to be uh, covered an array of topics. And again, uh, these Jeopardy style games uh, have, are not limited to two teams. Attack defense and Jeopardy style CTFs are not just mutually exclusive, meaning you can have both within the same. You can have a Jeopardy style game where one question requires you to be the red team and participate and go find a file in a system. So they're not mutually exclusive. Uh, you can for sure do both. All right, so we've learned what a CTF is, capture the flag. We've learned what the red team, the blue team, or else you want to call it attack defense. You've learned what Jeopardy style uh, CTFs are. In the next episode, episode two, we will talk about the skills required to participate in a CTF and be actually competitive and successful. So stay tuned to episode two.